Hey y'all, hey, what's up, what's up, what's up, what's up? Welcome back to my channel. Today we are gonna be going over the first expenses report for the month of September, and guess what? I have a new source of income. So if you wanna find out where that's coming from, please continue watching, all right? Like, comment, and subscribe. Hey, y'all. Hey, what's up? What's up? What's up? What's up? Welcome back to my channel. This is actually going to be the second time I'm filming this because the first video did not save. So we are filming again. Wish me luck. But for those of you who are new, welcome to my channel. For those of you who are returning, thank you so much for coming back to see your girl on today's expenses report. We're going to be going over our first payout for the month of September 2022. All right, so let's hop straight into it. If you're new here, we're just going to cover some basics first. And then we're gonna go over my newest source of income, which is the Bego app, if you saw by the icon that you clicked on to view this beautiful video. So first up, I do have a main source of income. I am working from home, which I have been doing for close to three years now. And out of that main source of income is what we're budgeting our expenses for, okay? So just to get started, this is what comes out each and every one of my paychecks. So I do have 401k. I have health insurance for myself and my daughter, dental insurance, optical insurance, a life insurance policy, and two savings accounts that $25 go into on each and every pay period. So I'm going to sit this to the side. All right. And I don't feel comfortable with putting my company that I work for on social media. So just know I work in the finance industry. I will not be disclosing what company that I work for. I will not be disclosing how much money I make, but people want to know since I am a social media influencer, where is my money going? What is it going to? So if you tuned in last month, again, thank you for your viewership, but it was real black. It was real vanilla. Wasn't too much going on. The same with this pay period, but at the end of September, I have so much going on. I have a lot of things that I need to plan for and to get ready for. So that's where we're going to crank things up. But I wanted you all to see as an influencer, there are going to be months where nothing is going on where nothing is popping off. And the main reason for that is because one, my daughter has went back to school. She is in the seventh grade. I have one child. And then also there's not really too many holidays going on in August as well as September. I mean, there's Labor Day, but there's not too much going on there. But in October and the end of this month, that's when things are gonna get cranking up. And I want you guys to see the different varieties and what I spend my money on as an influencer, okay? So let's jump into these expenses. So I have the basics going down, but if you can see right up here on the top, I am now a host on the Bego app. So the Bego app is a live streaming app where you can see me in just regular daytime it's live and i talk to you guys i give some new information but you can get paid i was only on the beagle app for six days and i got a payout of 140 dollars now the reason why some of y'all are like 140 dollars that's it i was on that app for six days so august 26th 27th 28th 29th 31st and wait 26, 27, 28, 29, 30th, and the 31st, excuse me. So six days that I was on that app and I got a payout. Now, usually with YouTube, you have to have a certain amount of views and a certain amount of followers. Instagram, I had to have a certain amount of views and a certain amount of followers. The Bego app allows you to start making money day one. So if you guys need some information, you wanna know the details, please make sure you download the Bego app get some information. I recommend doing your own research to see how you can become a host and you can start making money. Now, the reason why this is important is because the Bego app pays you out in what's called beans. So I had 29,400 beans that I made in six days. I had less than a thousand followers 
in six days and I still was able to make $140. That's significantly less than what I have on Instagram. I have 137,000 followers on Instagram. I had less than a thousand on the Bego app and I still made money. So make sure you check out this app and see if that's an opportunity for you to possibly make some money. So now I am officially getting paid from Instagram creating reels as well as the Bego app. And next up with me continuing to create content on YouTube, hopefully we can add that as a source of income as well. But being that this is my first payout from Bego after six days, imagine what I can make in 30. But my expenses underneath that are for my main source of income. So as I told you guys, I've been working from home for almost three years and that company is what pays all of these bills. So just to get started, I have my mortgage, which is 705. My Zoom energy bill for my electric bill, I have not paid that yet. The reason why I have it is because I work from home, so I get a discounted rate for working from home, but I have to renew it every year and prove that I'm continuing to work from home to get that discounted rate. It renews every year in the month of August. I did not get it renewed, so of course my electric bill was higher than what it usually was. It was also really high last month as well, and I was trying to figure out why when I contacted them by phone, that's what's going on. So now that I'm disputing that, I have not paid my electric bill as of yet. Hopefully it will decrease from $275 so I can pay roughly $200, which is on average what it should be. So I have not paid that yet, but I will be paying it. Okay. Also, I paid my ATT cell phone bill, all right, which is $100. I paid my daughter's cell phone bill, which is $44.10. I did pay my Jaguar payment. As you know, I do have two vehicles. I have a 2019 Jaguar E-Pace, and then I also have a 2014 Honda Accord. My Honda Accord is paid off, so I do still have to pay for my Jaguar. My sewer water trash has actually a total of four months that I've paid in advance. So I have a credit of a little bit over $300 that I've paid for sewer water trash, so that's why I only had to pay $50. My Capital One settlement, I haven't paid that yet. And the reason why I haven't paid this is because I wrote the phone number down somewhere on a piece of paper that I have to call to pay specifically for settlements. I don't know what I did with that piece of paper, so that's why I have not paid that as of yet. When I find it, I definitely will be paying it. My Lane Bryant credit card, I actually paid $30. I thought the minimum payment was $25, but it's actually $30, so I paid that. And then I have yet to get gas, my groceries, or my subscriptions. So that's going to be taken out. And I put a little dash as next to what's already been taken out of my account. So I will be filling that in as well. I need to erase this. Oh, I have my pen. It's charging. But that's why I can't erase it. But again, this is the second time I'm filming. So please disregard this because I'll explain that later. And then I have merits for my daughter, Layla. So if you've been watching, then you know my daughter gets merits for a teacher or principal recognition. She did get two merits in the past two weeks, so that's a total of $1. They are 50 cents each, which is where this single $1 bill is coming from, okay? So those are my bills and my expenses that I have had to pay in the past two weeks for my September 9th payout, all right? Now, as I stated, we're going to be going over why this isn't fill, filled in, but this actually should say $20 instead of two. But again, my pin is charging, which I need to get off the charger. Excuse that, pardon that, don't worry about it. That should say $20. The reason why this is separate is because I use my Bigo payout to pay for my gas groceries and subscriptions. So I haven't gotten any of those yet, but that's where that money is gonna be coming from. So I can have more money left over in my checking account in the end if I wanna turn up because I'm gonna have my niece, my daughter, we wanna go to the trampoline park, my uncles, they're twins, and they're actually having a birthday dinner. So when we go out to eat, I don't know how much money I'm gonna be spending on that. I don't have it budgeted to the side. I just use whatever money's left over in my main checking account to cover that so I don't have to worry about it. But for sure, before I have any fun at all, I have to cover all of this. These are my main bills that I have to cover for this pay period. I'm making sure that that's taken care of. Now, also what I'm excited for 
coming up at the beginning of next month is the State Fair of Texas will be coming to town. So I am super excited to go to the State Fair of Texas. I'm gonna start budgeting and putting money aside for that on the next pay period so that my daughter and I can go, we can turn up, we can have a good time. Cause let me tell y'all, honey, they have some deep fried lobster tail this year. I'm excited to, to have that. I'm always gonna get some fried Oreos, fried ice cream, sausage on a stick, funnel cakes, all of that good stuff. And we're going to have a good time when we go to the State Fair of Texas, which I'm probably going to do a vlog for. If you guys are interested, please let me know down below. But let's go ahead and get into the money bags, baby. So hopefully soon enough, I will be able to use these gold $100 bills when I am using these as placeholders, when I am budgeting my money. But for now... Let's go ahead and open this treasure chest and we're going to stack this cash. But first up, we're going to put this $1 bill that's for my daughter in her money jar. So this is my daughter spending money. If she wants anything, buy food, snacks, whatever, toys, she can pull her money from this jar. All right. And let's get into these bags, honey. So first up on our money bags are... My daughter, Layla, she gets $5 in her bag, which brings a total to $15 for Layla. Now, y'all are probably wondering, why does she have money here and money here? So this is for Christmas, which is coming up, birthdays that's coming up. That money goes specifically in this bag, so I can pull from here if there's anything that she wants as a gift. Otherwise, she just uses this money to get what she wants. All right, next up, on our bags, I'm gonna put this right here. So next up for our bags is our savings challenge. So, so far we have $20 in the savings challenge. We're gonna add another five to that to bring our total to $25 for our savings challenge. All right, put that over here. And we have our savings challenge book, which I did get from Amazon. I absolutely love Amazon. So please make sure that you check this out. I will put the link for it below and turn to my savings challenge. Before, when I filmed this, I couldn't find my marker. I did. So that's why it's just a circle. So we're going to color that in. So actually... I should have $30. So where is my other five, baby? I should have $30 in my savings challenge. So 10, 20, 30. I do have $30. I am miscalculated. So I have $30 in my savings challenge bag. Next up. For our money bag is automobile savings. As you know, I have two automobiles. I have a Honda Accord as well as a Jaguar E-Pace. So for those two vehicles, I actually have more than that previously. However, due to I had to get an oil change in my Honda Accord, that's why there's only $10 in here. But we're going to add a $5 bill, of course, to my automobile savings to bring the total back up to 15. Uh-oh. Little malfunction. Sorry about that. But this, again, brings the total to $15 in our money bag. So, I'm going to put this away. Next up is going to be... our holidays. So holidays is separate because I have a large family. We're going to add a five to that and make it $20 for holidays. So anytime somebody has a birthday coming up, I'm going to put that money back in here. I actually took $15 out because my niece-in-law's birthday came up and I got her a couple of things from five below. So I just replaced that $15 back in here and I added another five to that, which you'll see in a moment. I'm going to open back up my tablet so you'll see that information. All right, and last but not least, certainly not least, is my house savings. So I have been a homeowner for almost three years, 
and anything that my house needs i try to make sure that i pull money whether it's new windows because i recently had that done i had to get my door replaced it flooded here in the state of texas so i had to get some stuff to fix where it flooded in my house so luckily i'm able to pull cash from there i haven't needed to really because i pull it from my main savings account i want this to be for those specific expenses so we're going to leave that to the side for my house savings we're going to put all of these bags back in here and let's go over savings right quick in the tablet so y'all can see where i pull that money from okay all right so this is my savings for september night's payout so as you can see right here under holiday where it says 20 that's me replacing that 15 dollars, and then i put five dollars in every row all right and just to go back if you calculate all of these expenses right here without gas groceries and subscriptions it comes out to one thousand two hundred eighty three dollars and sixty cents and then again i use the 140 for my big old payout to cover these bills but that's going to conclude today's video thank you so much for stopping by tuning in don't forget to like the video share it please and don't forget to subscribe i would love to have you guys over here because it's about to get cracking the end of this month and going in October, getting ready for the holidays so y'all can see what it's like as an influencer because I am adding on this social media income so I can get as much as I can out of it. But thank you guys so much for tuning in and make sure you stay safe, wash your hands because COVID and monkeypox is real out here in these streets, all right? But I love you guys. Thank you for stopping by and enjoy the remainder of your weekend. I holla.